When we arrived at Lincoln Cathedral, it was blowing quite strongly. But here's that magnificent cathedral. It's called the Cathedral Church of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Lincoln, or sometimes just St. Mary's Cathedral. This is a historic cathedral located in Lincoln, and it is the seat of the Bishop of Lincoln. Building commenced here in the year 1088 and continued in several phases throughout the medieval period. And here is Father Bush all amazed with the absolute immensity of it all. It was reputedly the tallest building in the world for 249 years, between 1300 and 1549. The earliest origins of Lincoln can be traced to the remains of an Iron Age settlement of round wooden dwellings that may have dated to the first century BC. These were discovered by archaeologists only in 1972. The settlement was built by a deep pool, the modern Brayford Pool, in the River Witham, at the foot of the large hill on which the Normans later built Lincoln Castle, as well as the cathedral. The origins of the name Lincoln may come from the first century BC, when the settlement is thought to have been named in the Brythonic language of Iron Age Britain's Celtic inhabitants, as Linden, that is, the pool, which presumably refers to the Brayford Pool. The central spire collapsed in 1549 and was never rebuilt. It is highly regarded by architectural scholars, and the eminent Victorian writer John Ruskin declared, I have always held that the Cathedral of Lincoln is out and out the most precious piece of architecture in the British Isles and, roughly speaking, worth any two other cathedrals we have. And here are Fathers Bush and Schmelzer making their way into the Treasury. The Treasury houses precious chalices, plates, bowls and beakers that have been donated from churches throughout the Diocese of Lincoln. A new book by a local author named Ernest Coleman states that the Holy Grail came to Lincoln hundreds of years ago and now sits unacknowledged on a shelf at Lincoln Cathedral. These relics from the Middle Ages are absolutely priceless. The Romans conquered this part of Britain in AD 48 and shortly afterwards built a legionary fortress high on a hill overlooking the natural lake formed by the widening of the river Witham and at the northern end of the Foss Way. That's a Roman road, which is today's A46. Father Bush and Father Schmelzer both traveled on that road. The Celtic name Linden was Latinized by the Romans to Lindum and given the title Colonia when it was converted into a settlement for Roman army veterans. Lincoln became a major flourishing settlement accessible from the sea both through the River Trent and through the River, River Witham, and was even the provincial capital of Flavia Caesarensis when the province of Britannia Inferia was subdivided in the early 4th century. It was in 1092 that this first cathedral at Lincoln, built by Bishop Remigius, was consecrated. Remigius, a Benedictine monk, was the first Norman bishop of the largest diocese 
in medieval England, extending from the Humber to the Thames. The cathedral of this diocese had been in Dorchester near Oxford, but in 1072 William, the Conqueror, instructed that the bishopric should be moved to Lincoln. A castle had already been established in Lincoln by William the Conqueror, located in the southwest corner of the old Roman upper city. The new cathedral was built of Lincolnshire Oolithic limestone opposite the castle in the southeast corner. Since its commissioning by William the Conqueror a thousand years ago, this cathedral has been in the forefront of many an historic occasion. For instance, Bishop Hugh, who was one of the bishops of this cathedral, was among those who witnessed King John place his seal on Magna Carta at Runnymede in the year 1215. The Battle of Lincoln Fair took place in the shadow of the cathedral. It is thus fitting that one of the four surviving 1215 copies of Magna Carta belongs to the cathedral and sits with the Charter of the Forest in Lincoln Castle. In the year 1540, agents of Henry VIII destroyed the cathedral shrines removing gold and silver from them. Precious vestments, plates and statues encrusted with jewels were also seized. One of the bishops of Lincoln was named Geoffrey, who had two half-brothers. One was Richard I, also known as the Lionhearted. The other half-brother was the infamous John, who became king after Richard's death. So Lincoln Cathedral has been very much in the middle of the Robin Hood legend and even gives its name to the color of the outlaw's clothes, Lincoln Green. One of the little interesting facts that uh, we have of Lincoln Cathedral today is that for those of you who are fans of the Brown books, that is in the Da Vinci Code, the filming of the inside that was supposedly Westminster Abbey was not Westminster Abbey, but actually filmed right here at Lincoln Cathedral. So this is the actual filming location. There are two great rose windows in this great cathedral. This particular one is the Bishop's Eye, which was constructed and finished about the year 1330. Over on the other side is the Dean's Eye, which is a fine example of early English plate tracery. And it technically it's also called a wheel window so called because it is reminiscent of spokes in a wheel. This geometric design with concentric tiers of circular window lights was innovative in the early part of the 13th century. And it predated the geometric tracery of the later decorated style of Gothic architecture. This is the magnificent organ of the cathedral and you can hear some of this music in the background. Among the many bits of trivia surrounding the, this interesting city is the fact that the first ever tanks were invented, designed and built in Lincoln by William Foster and Company during the First World War and population growth provided more workers for an even greater expansion. The tanks were tested locally and during the Second World War Lincoln produced a vast array of goods from tanks, aircraft, munitions and military vehicles. 
Visible on top of the hill long before reaching the city, Lincoln Cathedral is one of the finest Gothic buildings in the country. The Norman Cathedral was founded in 1070 and has an angel choir with a profusion of ornamental carving that is simply magnificent. Lincolnshire was home to many Bomber Command airfields during the Second World War, giving rise to the nickname of Bomber County. Lincoln Cathedral was an easily recognizable landmark for crews returning from raids over Germany and occupied Europe, and as such took on much importance to the men. This baptismal font was made of Tournai marble around the year 1125, and tradition has it that Bishop Alexander himself is the one who commissioned it. And of course, no trip to any cathedral in England would be complete without a visit to the gift shop. The station badge for the nearby RAF Waddington depicts Lincoln Cathedral rising through the clouds, a sight which returning bomber crews used to help find their way back to Waddington Airfield. Appropriately, the cathedral, as of 2006, has the only memorial in the United Kingdom dedicated to Bomber Command in the Second World War. There is no doubt about it. The visit was well worthwhile. Seen for miles and miles before we actually got there, it was certainly not a disappointment. Father Bush and Father Schmelzer really enjoyed their experience at Lincoln Cathedral. <laughs>